Here's my simplecopter.com, the tilt. It's a V tail. It's a quad. I'm running a three cell, 4,000 milliamp zippy compact, the KK2 board with the, the updated, whatever you call it. I got a Fat Shark camera, the factory Fat Shark. I'm running the Predator goggles with the omnidirectional antenna. I'm running a GoPro 3 Black Edition on a cheap eBay gimbal. It's it's carbon and aluminum. It's really I'm not happy with it. I had to solder all the pins on. It was a pain in the ass. But I got it together. Sunny Sky Motors and 250 milliwatt transmitter. I don't even think they make those anymore. Cool frame. It's a simple copter got com frame. Uh, flies great. Rock solid rudder. Very steady. Um, my camera up here is on the on mounted on a servo on my auxiliary channel on my DX8, and I can have three positions, uh, almost straight down. You can actually see straight down. It's just at the bottom of the, the viewfinder. Um, and then about a 45 degree and then level. And that's just a lot easier to fly with when I'm flying FPV, uh, not, not flying on the gimbal. I'm waiting on my video output for my gimbal. I don't have a cable for the GoPro 3 so I can just record. But I have a, a switching device to switch between the video out of the GoPro and the video out of that one. I want to run that on my, my uh, six position switch. Um, the GoPro, the, the gimbal's cool because it's also got, if you notice I relocated on a DX8, this is normally not here. It's normally right here. I relocated that so I can actually uh, use it because um, that, that's the biggest problem with these. It's, it's dumb how they did that. But that's what controls the tilt on my gimbal. And it, it'll look almost straight down. I can't get it to look straight down. But it moves nice and slow and smooth. Um, it's a decent... See how it's kind of got a shake to it under real extreme conditions, but I don't know. It, it, I've only used it a couple times. It works okay. But that is my setup. And I'll have some video of actual footage of a shooting uh, later.